Hmm, that seems like a good place for one. Rah, rah, rah. I hear you. I hear all of you. You're starting to spawn, and it sounds like you're behind me, but you're not. Lawful baby kicker, you will have to wait. Although I'm sure you want to play Moon right now. I am doing solo on Shinonuma, so this must wait. Speaking of which, uh, if you guys would like to have me and some friends do, oh man, oh man, oh man, do some uh, Moon gameplay and maybe do live comms over it, then uh, tell me in the comments because we've been getting some decent gameplays on Moon. I mean, it's a new map, so obviously there's not a whole lot of amazing strategies and stuff like that. We're slowly figuring out new spots. So, uh, yeah, like I said, if you'd like to see some like maybe four player live com or if you'd like to be one of the people in the four player live com then uh tell me in the comments because I'm always looking for new videos to do so if that's something that seems interesting to you guys then tell me or even if it's not moon even if it's like Doris or Verrock which I've never played or even the very first map we could just see how far we'd be able to get because um, I know on the first map there's no perks at all. It's just the box in that one spot, and uh, that's that's pretty tough when you think about it. Perks are a big necessity now to doing well in zombies, especially on solo um, or in the later rounds if you're trying to get really really far. Perks are a definite necessity. Bum 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 bum. Oh, so kind of kind of cool, creepy story, I guess. While uh, while I'm playing, so, um, let's see. Was this this was two nights ago? I uh, I went to Dairy Queen around like 10 o'clock at night. Uh, hopefully, you all know what Dairy Queen is. It's like a ice cream slash burger fast food place. Uh, oh, oh man, oh man. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if I can multitask like this. Um, yeah, it's like a burger place. And they have uh, ice cream. <clears throat> and I went to uh, I went to Dairy Queen at like 9:30 at night or so to get uh, some ice cream for my mom and I. And uh, as I'm pulling through the drive-through, uh, I'm getting ready to leave and pull around. And as I'm pulling around, another guy's coming out, and he completely is not paying attention, or he thought he had the right of way or something. I don't know what he was going through. It was like two teenagers around my age, like 18 or 19. And who knows what they were doing. But anyways, uh, he starts to pull out. I start to go because I have the right of way. And he slams on his brake all of a sudden, as do I, because I didn't want to get in an accident. And uh, he kind of looks at me weird, waves his arms up, and I think he yelled something, but my windows were up. And I was just like, all right, yeah, whatever. I have the right of way. That's your fault. Um, so I just kind of waved my arms back and thought that would be the end of it. And uh, as I pull forward, we're going out of the intersection, and he's right on my bumper. I mean, literally about as close as you can get without hitting me, or a safe distance where if I was to hit on my brakes, he wouldn't hit me. Um, so I was getting a little pissed off. I figured that as soon as I'd go out onto the main road, he'd leave, and uh, that would be the end of it. But uh, little did I know, he decided that he wanted to follow me, um, and I guess give me a run for my money? I don't, I don't really know how you want to put that. Um, but basically, he followed me all the way to my house, which was like about two miles from the Dairy Queen. Oh man, I'm, I need to I need to pick a better route. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I live about two miles from the Dairy Queen, and he followed me the entire way, right on my butt, not not letting up any bit. Um, he flashed his high beams a couple times for some reason. I don't I don't know what the hell this dude's problem was, but um, I pull into my neighborhood thinking maybe it was just a coincidence that we were following all that far and who knows maybe he was pissed off and as I pull in he's still following me into my neighborhood um, and I pull up towards my driveway I pull in my driveway and he stops at the end of my driveway um, I'm still in the car because obviously I just pulled in my driveway and I don't really want to get out and start some shit and I was kind of terrified because um, I'm not a very well-built guy and 2v1 in a fight obviously you know who's gonna win so uh, I didn't really want to start any shit, so I just kind of stayed in my car to see if he would pull away. 
he yelled something. I, I don't know what exactly he yelled. Um, and ended up just driving two or three houses up, turning around, and speeding off in my neighborhood. So, uh, I'm not really sure what the hell the dude's problem was. Uh, I don't know if he was drunk, if he was very, very, very angry that I took two seconds of his day to make him stop at an intersection when I had the right of way, or what exactly happened, but um, I was a little freaked out because normally people don't follow you all the way to your house just to yell something for two seconds and then carry on with their evening, so I don't know, maybe, maybe that was a lame story, maybe I built that up to be a lot more than it was, but yeah, it was, it was something to talk about, so if you guys have any creepy or weird or interesting drive through stories or um, something, oh yeah, monkeys, nice. Um, if you have any oh, kind of interesting drive through stories, or not even drive through just anywhere you've been where somebody's followed you home and um, any weird instances, stuff like that, then tell me in the comments because I'm sure I'm not the only one that this dude has followed home, but at the same time it was a little creepy because I was kind of terrified that he was going to beat the shit out of Unless me as soon as I got out of my car or something like that. Laugh, um, I got to check something real quick because my computer just went off. And I think we're still going. Yeah, we're still going. Alright, I just gotta... Every once in a while I have to kind of stop and refresh my computer because I record from a lab... Wow, nuke. Awesome. Because um, I record from a laptop, so... Uh, it doesn't stay on 24-7.